Today's story is Billy the Platypus. I wish I could find my family, sighs Billy the Platypus. For as long as she can remember, Billy has lived by herself. Every day she waits at Platypus Creek, hoping to find her mum or dad. But today she notices something strange. Someone is staring back at her. She takes a closer look and spots a strong bill, which is good for hunting in the creek. Then she notices two webbed feet with sharp claws. Wow, they must be good for swimming and digging in the mud. It's hard to miss the lovely silky fur that is oh so warm. Could it be another platypus? Billy waves at the little platypus, and the platypus waves back. She splashes the water with excitement, but the other platypus disappears. Billy peers into the water, searching for her new friend. Her own face stares back at her. Wait a minute, she mumbles sadly. That wasn't another platypus. That was just my reflection not my family. She slides slowly into the water and paddles upstream. Will I ever find my family? wonders Billy. As she looks up, she notices two strong webbed feet paddling above her. Hold on, she also has webbed feet. Could this be her family? Hello? She calls out. Hello there, she hears someone quack. Where are you? I'm down here, calls Billy, hopefully. Suddenly, a shiny bill pokes under the water. Ah, oh, that looks like my bill, gasps Billy. Are you a platypus? She asks, popping out of the water. What? No, I'm a duck. The duck chuckles. I have a bill and two webbed feet. Just like yours, they're pretty neat. But you can't put us together, because you have fur and I have feathers. I have wings that help me fly round and round in the sky. I'm a bird, have you heard? I'm a bird, that's the word. With a quack and a wave, the duck flaps away. Feeling ever so lonely, Billy crawls onto the grass. A thin figure appears out of nowhere. Hello, magical platypus. Thanks to you, my wish came true. Stanley the stick insect waves a skinny leg. I told my friend Maya about you, but she didn't believe me. She couldn't come today. Oh, it's nice to see you again, mumbles Billy. What's wrong? asks Stanley. You sound sad. Can I help turn that frown upside down? I don't know, replies Billy. I'm looking for my family. Do you have a family? Stanley grins. I sure do. I have a big family. Welcome to my family tree. We're all insects. Just look at me. We have six legs to move around. Our antennae are world-renowned. We also have three body parts. My head and thorax are works of art. The last body part's a little tricky. The abdomen. Now, say it quickly. Wow, you're so lucky to have a big family, murmurs Billy. Hey, I can help you find your family, smiles Stanley. Come on, let's go. They wander around the shrubs and bushes, looking here and looking there, but they don't find a single platypus. Hmm, wonders Stanley. If I were a platypus, where would I go? He keeps walking, not paying attention to the path. Ow, cries Stanley, rubbing his head. Something poked me. Are you all right? gasps Billy, rushing over. I hurt my head on this spiky bush, he yelps. 
the spiky little bush turns around with a yawn. Sorry, I was just taking a nap. Can I help you? Stanley turns white with fright, freezing on the spot. B -b Billy, the b -b bush can t -t talk. Before he can scream, the little bush bursts into giggles. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm an echidna, silly, not a bush. Look at all my pointy spines. Don't touch them and you'll be fine. Underneath, I have some fur. It's dark brown, just like hers. Like a platypus, I lay eggs and I have four short legs. I'm a monotreme, so it seems. I'm a monotreme. Join the team. It's lovely to meet you, smiles Billy. We're just in a bit of a hurry. We're trying to find my family. That's okay, grins the echidna. Have a good afternoon. After a quick goodbye, Billy and Stanley walk back to the creek. Splash, splash. Can you hear that sound? Asks Billy. She hurries over to the water. When she peers into the water, she spots a face like hers. Oh, it's just my reflection again, she sighs, trudging back to Stanley. Hello, a voice calls out. Billy turns around and sees a head poking out of the water. Are you a platypus? gasps Billy. Yes, I am, grins her new friend. Both platypuses dance around in the water, swimming in circles. Would you like to come and meet my family? asks the little platypus. Yes, of course, grins Billy, ready to swim off. Wait for me, cries Stanley. In today's lesson, we learned that we can group different animals by looking at their body parts. For example, a duck has wings, feathers and a bill. That's how we can tell it's a bird. Can you name some animals that you've seen before? Can you sort them into groups? Are they birds or insects or maybe they're reptiles? We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. Check out the other stories in our Stage 1 Science for Kids series to improve your child's understanding of the living world.